the final failure which is green hydraulics low level you get this alert when the fluid quantity is less than 3.5 liters this means the fluid itself is not sufficient to power the green system so ecam actions hey guys what's going on welcome to Be sure to check out my video on hydraulic system so that you can have a better understanding. Question: What are the green hydraulic failures we can have? Number one, we can have green pump low pressure with PTU and without. Number two is green reservoir low air pressure. Number three is green reservoir overheat. And number four green reservoir low level let us start with the first green engine one pump low pressure you get this alert when the outlet pressure goes below 1750 psi so we perform the ecam actions by switching off the green pump simple the ptu is now taking over the job of the pump now what if the PTU is inoperative? Then it would be as if we have lost the green hydraulic system. Take a look at the status page. We have to lower the gear using gravity extension. Do check out my videos on landing gear system. We have to apply the appropriate landing distance calculation using the QRH. Our slats and flaps will be slow, so we have to configure earlier on. Cat 3 single. Let us look at the inoperative systems. No spoilers 1 and 5. I always remember this number G15. So green hydraulics always control spoilers 1 and 5. No auto and normal braking and no landing gear retraction. Reversal 1 is inoperative and your damper 1 is inoperative. So in summary, braking action is we have spoilers 2, 3 and 4, reversal 2 and alternate braking with anti skid Now, we look at hydraulic green reservoir low air pressure. We will get this ECAM when the air pressure in the reservoir is below 22 psi. As usual, just have a look at the system pages, overhead panel before taking any actions. Okay, ECAM actions. If pressure fluctuates, PTU off. Question: Why do we need to switch off the PTU? Do comment below if you know the answer. Green engine 1 pump off. Let us look at the secondary system failures. No spoiler 1 and 5. You do not have normal braking and no auto brake. At the flight control page, you can see no spoiler 1 and 5. Ailerons is now controlled solely by the blue hydraulics and the rudder and elevator are controlled by the yellow and blue hydraulics. Let us look at the status page. The higher you go, it is possible for cavitation to occur. Therefore, on the approach, you can switch on the green pump to try and restore the system. If the green hydraulics is not recovered, then lower the gear using gravity extension and apply the landing distance procedure using the QRH. In case you have any spoilers that is extended, fuel consumption will increase so the fms fuel prediction may not be reliable so keep that in mind and use the qrh for fuel penalty calculations alternate yellow brakes with anti-skid your slats and flaps are slow so plan to configure early and cat 3 single only inoperative systems g15 spoiler 1 and 5 Cat 3 Dual, no auto brake and no normal braking. 
no landing gear retraction in case of go around no reversal one and no yaw damper one in summary braking action is using the spoilers two three four reverses two and alternate braking with anti-skid number three is green reservoir overheat when the fluid temperature itself rises above 93 degrees or 98 degrees depending on your aircraft serial number you would have to switch off the PTU and green engine one pump the good thing is once the overheat is out you can switch on the green engine one pump but if the hydraulic system is still not recovered then it will be the same consequence as having green reservoir low air pressure before we jump on to the last failure i would like to invite you to our private telegram community for pilots this community is for anyone who wants to learn share and ask aviation related questions as well as share job opportunities around the world and if you are going for your pilot interview this community will be a good platform to prepare for it remember that there are no such thing as a stupid question with that being said let us look at the final failure which is green hydraulics low level you get this alert when the fluid quantity is less than 3.5 liters this means the fluid itself is not sufficient to power the green system so ecamp actions this will look familiar ptu off green engine one pump off let us look at the secondary system failures wheel page no spoilers one and five you do not have normal braking and no auto brake at the flight control page you can see that there is no spoiler one and five ailerons is now controlled solely by the blue hydraulics and the rudder and elevator are controlled by the yellow and blue hydraulics let us look at the status page now there is no point to reset any pumps on the approach because there are no fluids left so lower the gear using gravity extension and apply the landing distance procedure using the qrh in case you have any spoilers that is extended fuel consumption will increase so the fms fuel prediction may not be reliable so keep that in mind and use the qrh for fuel penalty calculations alternate yellow brakes with anti-skid your slats and flaps are slow so plan to configure early and cat 3 single only in operating systems g15 spoiler 1 and 5 cat 3 dual no auto brake and no normal braking no landing gear retract in case of go around and no reversal one and no your damper one. <laughs>